to the Torium. Special things for this type of the animation that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about exponential, trigonometric, and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers. So this is the continuation of our discussion about um, complex numbers and how to analyze the functions of um, the complex numbers. Okay, so first we will have the, we will write here the identities for um, complex numbers. So first, we will get the, the exponential function of a complex number so we have here the Euler function so we have here the um, e raised to the power of j theta so this will be equal to cosine theta of course the usual so sine theta so if this will be e to the negative j theta okay so this will be equal to cosine theta negative j sine theta. Okay, we have managed to get these uh, these functions on the on our previous videos. Okay, now we will have so this is the exponential. Okay, exponential functions. So we have used this function in getting the uh, value the logarithmic value of our complex number so now we will go to the um, trigonometric function so try go okay, it's right here clearly so try go function so the trigonometric function of our complex number for example we have here a sine theta Okay, so equivalency, we have here sine theta. Sine theta. So sine theta is equal to, just write that clearly, e to the j theta plus, uh, minus e to the negative j theta all over j of 2. So this is the equivalent complex form of our sine theta. Then cosine theta course so this is similar to our sign except that we have a uh, the sign is uh, the the sign of our um, functions is uh, different so that is usually the sign is the negative of our um, of our cosine so we have plus a negative j theta all over 2. Okay, so this is now the trigonometric function of our uh, of our uh, the equivalent trigonometric function of our complex number. Okay, so this is how we are going to uh, have this. But then we will also remember that because we have six trigonometric functions, we have sine, cosine, tangent. Uh, second, cosecant, and cotangent. So we must also remember the basic trigonometric, uh, the basic identity that our tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Then our second, okay, second theta is equal to one o the reciprocal of cosine theta. Okay, and our cosecant theta is equal to one over second theta okay so we must also remember that uh, identity okay then we will now go to the next part which is the hyperbolic function of our um, complex number so the hyperbolic function the hyperbolic function okay so we have hyperbolic sine theta I forgot to put the edge sine theta 
So this is equal to the uh, this is equals to e um, theta minus e negative theta over two. Okay. So I believe there is a j here and a j over there. So this is um, like like a sine theta but without the j here and we have the cosine hyperbolic cosine theta is equal to the e j theta plus e negative j theta over 2 so the same with um, cosine theta okay so this is the functions or, or the trigonometric exponential and algorithmic uh, hyperbolic function of our complex number so that will be all for this video and the next video we will solve the, I will be solving some examples about this uh, topic so thank you for watching and as always keep on studying